Okay guys, this is your girl Love in the City. Welcome to part two of my thrift haul video starring what? maxi dresses. So if you didn't catch that first one, you know, jump on over there and try to catch that first one. I'm gonna see if I can ID card that and so you can, you know, catch that one as well. All right, we're just gonna jump right into it. We're not gonna mess around. This is a denim maxi dress. dress. And when I saw it, the heavens opened. I was like, yes! Because I've been looking for a denim dress. Yo, I've been looking for a denim dress. But I got another one, a short one that I thrifted. Y'all wait till y'all see that one. Y'all wait till y'all see that one. But anyway, it's cute. It's not too busy. It's simple, but it's cute. And it's like knee length. Maybe above the knee. Maybe above the knee. But anyway, this baby right here, my dog drags the floor which is what I like okay drags the floor and it's lightweight not too heavy it's like that um, not too heavy but it's got a little weight too and uh, I'm gonna show you the back that halter that back you know I got a little something some moment so it gonna cover the back fat I ain't worried about that it don't don't come too low okay and uh, it says na na fashion I don't know who Nana -na fashion is, but it works for me. And this says it's a 1X, but uh, I paid $6.46 for it. Okay. We're going to keep it moving, y'all. I'm going to start her off. I got 10 dresses, y'all. That last one, I think I had like nine, I don't know, or eight, something like that. And that dress came from Park uh, Avenue Thrift Store. Okay. Uh, usually the one with the tag on it come from Goodwill. One with the paper on it, I know that they came from Parks Thrift. And this is another Park Thrift. And this is Marona. You know, that's that Target brand. And I paid $6.56 for it. I did mine. This one comes all the way down to the floor too. Alright. And if you're just new watching Part 2 before you watch Part 1, uh, again, I'm 5'6", so yeah that works for me because i like the flowy flowy let's just put it in front of that one okay next i got a greek goddess looking one but it's kind of peasant at the bottom so it's got like two layer two layers at the bottom like a peasant dress let's see let me stand back okay so you guys can see that all righty that's the back okay that's the front. Now this is a, I could probably um, get this a little bit shiny or gold or something. I could always paint it with some gold nail polish on. Huh? I gotta figure out somehow I'm gonna do that. But anyway, this one came from Goodwill because it's got that blue tag on it. And you know, their dresses are real like $6. And this is the name brand. I'm gonna pronounce this the way. I think it's pronounced Bisu Bisu. All right, it's a 16, y'all, because I like them flowy. So, like I said, my weight fluctuates. Uh, before I said it fluctuates in the other video. All right, next we have a celery green, which I don't have in my wardrobe, but I think I, I got some jewelry. Yes, I do. I have this celery green brooch that I've had now for like longer than I've had Paul had Paul for five years yeah I've had that brooch about seven years at least six or seven years and it's a celery green I'm gonna brooch her up I'm gonna fancy her up no I probably just brooch it right here at the umpire waist you know cuz it's an umpire waist I'm gonna, brooch. Yeah, I'm gonna brooch it right there instead of up here so I'm gonna brooch it here and it's just gonna be super cool and it flows all the way down it's got the ruching, the little lines here, but it's smooth in the back. Crisscross is the same way. And uh, this is Ashley Stewart. Okay. It says two eggs, but we'll see. That's Ashley Stewart because, you know, you got to get them a little larger if you want it to be flowy, flowy. Oh, my Lord, when you walk. All right, y'all. Look at here, look at here. This is a two-piece. Now, mind you, when I went thrifting that day, this did not come together. Your girl scoured the entire store. And I was lucky and I was like, get out of here. Did I just find the same freaking bright yellow? 
and it says hardtail on it uh, that's the brand I don't know who hardtail is but that's a large on cost me $3.93 and we're gonna take the skirt off here let's put you here madame and then this is a maxi skirt let me stand back it goes all the way to the floor on me Boom. okay okay y'all I probably should have put my camera that way far over that way and zoom in I'll do that next time I'm you know I'm just realizing I'm just using my backdrop for the first time y'all like my backdrop there's a Maryland honey there's a recycled shower curtain she used to be in my bathroom but I kind of glammed up my bathroom a little bit more so I'm using Maryland as my backdrop because at first I was gonna donate I was like no wait a minute I'm gonna use it as my backdrop okay we gonna repurpose some situations but yeah I was lucky enough to put these two together look at that falling apart on me because I'm trying to show y'all what's going on but yeah that's just something cute in the store out of the store now would I wear this to dinner with my man no because I like to dress it up a little bit more than that but hey just going up the street to the Kroger, across the street to the Publix. Publix is across the street, y'all. Awesome. But anyway, um, this is this came from Goodwill. I'm sorry, y'all. This came from Parks. I get ahead of myself. That came from Park Avenue Thrift. And uh, the Beast of Beast, which one I showed you before, came from Goodwill. This came from Parks. Okay, if I didn't say it before. And this says Newberry Custom is the tag inside. And it is razor back. I have a razor back bra. Ladies, stop wearing the regular bras with these razor backs where you see your bra and stuff. You know, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just suggesting. Strongly suggesting to just invest you into a, a razor back bra. You know, just get one. It'll go with everything. But yeah, thank the Lord I got a razor back bra. This comes short. You can see where it stops right there. And then it, you know, it's got that, uh, what you call that lining or skirt thing inside. Really long, pretty and yellow. I like yellow. Okay. And see, look, this is brand new. Still got the tag on. Look what somebody paid for that. $39.99. Y'all know what your girl paid for this. $6. Yeah. That's how I'll do. That's how I do. I do a whole lot of online shopping. I don't think I've been to the mall in like six years at least. Six years. I haven't been to the mall in six years, y'all. I shop online. I'm an Amazon addict. Now I'm an eBay addict. And uh, Walmart.com, Michaels. You, you can go on and on with that list, honey. City Trends, blah, blah, and blah. But anyway, here's another. I bought these both at the same time came from Goodwill this is Newberry custom as well it don't have new tag on it like the other one but I think it's new it just feels new like never been worn got the new smell to it this is straight out the bag y'all because you can see a girl ain't put an iron to nothing or the steam thing we got a steam thing to steam your clothes everybody I ready to break out die and stand away for that thing to steam but yeah here's another that's something similar to that but it's not uh, this is by was it Hush a Crush or something inside did I tell you how much that was it was oh yeah six dollars because it came from Goodwill this was um, $5.45 this one came from Park Avenue Thrift see it totally came from different stores and it may look like it's orange on camera to you because you know that's Sony it's true it looks orange but this is red y'all this is a true red and it drags the floor and it's razor back. You will not see my bra strap hanging out this dress because I'm gonna have on a razor back bra. But yeah, it ruches right here at the waist. Bam. Forgiving of all the extra rolls of fat and cake that you know you shouldn't have ate, which I do all the time. But I'm gonna stop started cutting back, so it's taking me a minute to get it down, but I'm getting there. All right, y'all. This is a peasant. This is like a, a plum, like a true plum. Look at that. And it it ruffles. See if I can it right there. And it comes down. This is uh, what you call it, a tube dress. And yes, I definitely have a half bra. Invest in a half bra and a razorback bra. Yes, honey. 
Okay, this is from New York and Company. And I paid $6.56 for it. And as you can see, it is truly falling off the hanger here. Okay. Give me a second to get it together. All right, ladies and gents. Ladies, if you're watching. I mean, gents, if you're watching. Because I know my ladies out there. Okay, don't be looking at my channel unless y'all looking at it with y'all wife. I don't play that. <laughs> Look here. This is the last dress y'all last but not least can you believe it i've gone through 10 dresses that fast bam here's another peasant dress see i say the peasants for last it's like really really wide and it flutters out look at that that's how i boom when you walk you know who you spin you turn the wind blow you're good you're gone with the wind but this is uh let me hook this on otherwise we're gonna have a wardrobe malfunction with this hanger but yeah this is extra large and it's got the ruching or at the what you should yeah ruching not rubber but ruching at the waist there got your little keyhole peekaboo tie up right there and this is by grace elements and i have some other grace elements in my closet and see this one is extra large and i got this i popped the tag off of it um, this because it was halfway coming off. This was up 5:45 to y'all. So yeah, this is the end of the haul, guys. Oh wow, I had a great time shopping. I hope you had a great time looking at me show you guys what I purchased. And hey, if you like this video, thumb it up. If you haven't subscribed, hit that button and subscribe and share this video. Definitely leave me a comment if you like any of these dresses that I've shown you. Okay, guys, until the next video, I'll see you later.